Arturo Marquez. Ever hear of him? What? No. He was a stool pigeon for the Justice Department. He swore out a statement to federal marshals saying that he had seen and could positively identify one Kaiser Sose. It says right here in the report, he had intimate knowledge of his businesses, including, but not exclusive, to drug trafficking and murder. I never heard of him. His own people were selling him to a gang of Hungarians, most likely the same Hungarians that Sose all but wiped out back in Turkey. The money wasn't there for dope. The Hungarians were going to buy the one guy that could incriminate Kaiser Sose. I said I never heard of him. But Keaton did. Edie Finneran was Marquez's extradition advisor. She knew who he was and what he knew. I, I don't... I'm... There were no drugs on that boat. It was a hit. A suicide mission to whack out the one guy that could finger Kaiser Sose. So Sose put some thieves to it. Men he knew he could march into certain death. You're saying Sose sent us to kill someone? I'm saying Keaton did. Verbal, he left you behind for a reason. Just do what I tell you. If you all knew that Sose could find you anywhere, why did he give you the money to run? He could have used you on the boat. He wanted me to live. <laughs> a one-time dirty cop without a loyalty in the world finds it in his heart to save a worthless rat cripple. No, sir, why? Edie. I don't buy that reform story for a minute. Even if I did, I certainly don't believe he would send you to protect her. So why? Because he was my friend. No, Verbal. He wasn't your friend. Keaton didn't have friends. What are you doing here? He saved you because he wanted it that way. It was his will. Keaton was Kaiser Sose. No. The kind of man who could wrangle the wills of men like Hackney and McManus. The kind of man who could engineer a police lineup through all his years of contacts in NYPD. The kind of man who could have killed Edie Finneran. She was found yesterday at a hotel in Pennsylvania, shot twice in the head. What do you think about Keaton now, Verbal? Edie? He used all of you to get him on that boat. He couldn't get on alone. He had to pull the trigger himself to make sure he got his man. The one man that could identify him. This is all bullshit. You said you saw him die? Or did you? You had to hide when you first heard the police cars. You said you heard the shot before the fire. But you didn't see him die. I knew him. He would never... He programmed you. He programmed you to tell us just what he wanted you to. He knew we were close. You said it yourself. Where was the political pressure coming from? Why were you being protected? It was Keaton. Immunity was your reward. But why me? Why not Fenster or McManus or Hockney? Why me? I'm stupid. I'm a cripple. Why me? Because you're a cripple, Verbal. Because you're stupid. Because you're weaker than them. <laughs> if he's dead, if what you say is true, then it won't matter. It was his idea to hit the taxi service in New York, wasn't it? Come on, tell me the truth. It was all Keaton. <laughs> We followed him from the beginning. Yeah. I didn't know. I saw him die. I believe he's dead. Oh, Christ. You're not safe on your own. You think he's... Kaiser Sose? I don't know, Verbal. Kaiser Sose is a shield. Or like you said, a spook story. But I know Keaton, and someone is out there pulling strings for you. Stay here and let us protect you. No way. I'm not bait. I post today. You posted 20 minutes ago. Captain Leo wants you out of here ASAP, unless you turn states. I'll take my chances. Thank you. If someone wants to get you, they're going to get you out there. Turn states evidence. You might never see trial. Maybe so. But I'm not a rat, Agent Kuyan. Fucking cops. <laughs>